everyone, my name is Jay Bird and welcome back to Alice in Stardom. We haven't done this in a little while, so we're just gonna jump back into it. Oh Jesus Christ, we haven't done this in a long time. Yep, yeah, okay. Today the prep room is eerily quiet. Another week already, I don't know if I'm ready. You'll, you'll learn to overcome. You'll, you'll need to learn to overcome. I guess I'm not as strong willed as you, Mary. I just don't like this feeling of my friends leaving me one by one that I, I don't really feel worthy of advancing. Your earlier concern I can understand, but your second concern is unforgivable. By saying that you aren't worthy, are you trying to tell me that a contestant who will be eliminated isn't worthy either? That's not what I mean. I'm saying that they should be here, not me. I mean, if the professional judges' votes count more than the lay audience, I'm sure I'll be the first to go. But are stingers always judged in the kind of strict manner you're suggesting? Well, no, but even if we don't consider the fact that this isn't even true, being an idol isn't just about showing off your singing technique. It's a multifaceted form of entertainment. The audience would take to your looks, take to your fashion style, whatever, but that's just how it is. But don't you think that's unfair? Unfair? In what way? You're asking this question again, asking whether it would be unfair for an artist to not be born a scientist instead. For all unique individuals here, we have the strengths and weaknesses. It's up to you to make your strengths shine and defeat your weaknesses. Even if that means winning an idol contest by you being cute, that's your strength, then yes, be the cutest you can be. Develop and maintain a stage personality that engages your audience. That's... It just feels so shallow. I don't think so. See, <laughs> I have deep respect for him, shallow a character as he is. He spends literally hours on his makeup. He even adopted a French stage name just to enhance his stage personality. I think it's easy. I think not. He put a lot of hard work into it. All for the sake of entertaining his audience. That's what an idol should be like. You may feel like crying on the inside for all the stress upon your shoulders, but under the bright lights, you keep it all in, showing only the smile that your audience wants to see. Okay, why are we still talking to her? I want to talk to other people. It's... is that not just being fake? It's all about giving the audience something to dream about. When they are watching you, they can forget about the harsh realities they face on a regular basis. You're creating a temporary utopia for them. This is where they can just go and have fun. I... I don't know if I really get it. You do. You've been doing this superbly so far. Like this in here, but out on stage you really shine. I suppose like this isn't exactly a good thing, right? Hmm. It's not idol like for sure, but it's adorable in its own way. Before I get the chance to ask further, Taylor comes out of the change room with a three knitted hat on her head. Mary squints at her. Really? That's all for your outfit? The theme is winter. Wearing a t shirt, the same t shirt as the intro episode in week one. It's different from last week's. This one is the one whom you shouldn't learn from if you want to become an idol. Alice, I'm surprised your lack of style hasn't gotten you eliminated yet on the virtue alone. Oh, oops, I read that wrong. Oh, well, I don't care. Elimination means I can just leave this place. I'd have swung like I was on helium to get the hell out of here. I wonder why Taylor seems so reluctant to participate in all this. I mean, did, she did sign up for this on her own accord, right? I'm not going to ponder why you even applied in the first place, but even now, can't you just withdraw? He signed a contract. I would have to pay for damages to that greedy Russian lady if I were to withdraw now. Oh, she's Russian. I'm pretty sure she's- oh, Slovenian, actually. I can't fucking say that word without butchering it to death. So I'm just gonna say it anyways. Just gunker and ball. I looked 
ended up online after she mentioned it. Stop it, kid. We're going off topic. I don't see what else I need to say. I'm not rich like you, Mary. I can't fish out a couple hundred thousand from my pockets. That Taylor just turns around and heads for the stage, leaving all of us staring after her. What did you guys just say to her to have her stomp out like that? Nothing. She's just being her usual unprofessional self, is all. I wouldn't go that far. I, I just want everybody to get along. Welcome coming back to Supernova. This is the third week for of our contest where, where only the best can remain and step up to the throne of your next super idol. As you can see here, this th week's theme is winter. Our first contestant is to, to sing for us today is Raja Cherenko. Welcome. You're up first. Okay, I miss Domin Domingo decided that I should do the opener for this week. It's okay, I'll be fine. Images of snow drift down to fall on virtual con conifers. Conifers? The thin that glows illuminated on the screen. Cherry walks up to the stage, standing with the side where a snowman decoration is placed. Her pale skin and platinum hair blends into the background, and eyes a piercing blue like piercing blue like ice crystals. Still, despite the fragile appearance, Cherry gives off the strength that I've never seen from her before. The song opens with lonely piano notes, then as what sounds like sleigh bells staring me, start ringing, Cherry's voice joins in. Don't interrupt me! It's a whispery, sad tone, like withered branches struggling to withstand the cold. Well, that's a very interesting... A smooth synth strings start filling in the shadows. Cherry's voice echoes, rich with an entrancing power. It's thought she only sings children's songs, but now she's so in command of the song. This week, Cherry closes her eyes. I can see, I can hear that she has completely submerged herself into the melody. There's no. There's probably nothing else in her mind now, just the lyrics of the song, the words she's singing for one person and one person only. I, I don't know how, I don't know what the song is this one. I'm gonna sing it. I'm just gonna say it because I'm cheap like that. I'm not so small now, you see. Won't you come and stay with me? I can take you to the sky. <laughs> I was a small bird, but now can fly. I am strong now, you know. I can hold you. I won't let go. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. So long as you're here, I have no fear. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. That was so bad. Me, not me talking or the lyrics? Oh. Oh god. <sighs> okay, I love it too. She steps up with her white boots, leaving barely any sounds on the ground. It's like she really knows how to fly. Her voice rising with the wind. What wind? There is no wind. It is a fucking sound stage. She lifts her hand upwards, the blue sleeve of her coat, drawing a beautiful arc to the side. Reaching out, she turns to face us. become engrossed in understanding them. When I'm watching her on the stage, it's as though I've stepped into her shoes, walking the paths she has taken, experiencing the motions filling her heart. 
They are simple emotions, but they are clear and true. This is too poetic. I don't like it. Jerry doesn't hide herself. This is who she is. The good and bad, the strong and weak. It's a powerful way to sing. There is no performance quite like it. Okay. Thank you, Razia. That was the heart of that song indeed. Our next contestant is Mary Visawathavitha. So far she has displayed a warm image for us on stage. How will she fail with this week? <clears throat> Mary, who along with Taylor has been silent throughout Jerry's performance, gets up to walk onto the stage. Why is my voice dying? The silver and diamond jewelry makes a strong contrast on her sun-kissed skin, giving her an even more noble look than usual. She's like the queen of snow, but this just makes her slightly trembling hands seem even more humbling. Are you okay? I'm not talking to you! Stop interrupting me! You did it before! No, that was you. Because you thought I was talking to you. Bleh. Bleh. Of course, why wouldn't I be? I want to assure her that it's okay to be nervous, but how can I do it? Maybe planning on her current state would only worsen things. Take her hands in mine. Give them an affirming squeeze instead. I... It was a shock listening to Jerry sing like that. I almost doubted myself. But I guess after all, she's her. I'm me. I don't have to do things my way. That's okay. I'll root for you no matter what style you choose for your performance. Thanks. Why am I suddenly chummy chummy with fucking Mary? I don't know what I did. If you guys enjoyed this like this morning scan, leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. Share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember to act safely. Bye bye.